What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Steve Fast, and behind us, we have the 2019 Ram Rebel. Now, as you can see, we have a clean back window. That's because we had it at the dealership, and they replaced the entire window assembly. So let's have a little bit of a closer look at that one. All right, so for those of you who remember, there was a seam on the driver's side. I'm not sure if that was a crack or if it was a factory seam on the old window because it was very, very straight and definitely didn't look like a crack to me. But on this one, you can see there is a reinforced piece and it sticks out probably a good, probably half an inch or more. And then it goes all the way across the top of the window. And this is the 2020 window, which is updated from the 2019, which did have those cracking issues. And we'll go over to the other side. And for those of you who remember on this side, we did have a kind of more of a jagged crack I do have video of that on some of the previous episodes if you guys want to have a look at those. But yes, this is the new design and it looks really nice. I mean, I don't really notice it driving. You actually just have to go into the back and kind of notice the difference between the two to actually be able to tell the difference. But all in all, I hope this one has no issues in the future. And as far as the install goes, the glass guys that did come in to the dealership to install this did a really good job. Got no issues with fitment or anything like that. Everything is exactly where it was from the factory. So now over here on a side note, I was at the auction on Friday and guess what I picked up for the shop? Oh yes, we got a real life traffic light. So now I actually have everything it takes to make this do its sequential action and all that kind of thing. I just gotta get it all wired up, waiting for a couple more parts on that. So drop in the comments, should I do a video on how to make one of these work in your garage? And if there is enough interest, we will do a video on how to make this all work. Also, I got an entire lot of cutters, pliers, screwdrivers, and all of this is snap-on or Mac. So, I mean, definitely a steal at 30 bucks. And I think the traffic light was a pretty good bargain too at 40. So after reading your comments and just driving this truck with the red stars on, I do agree that it definitely does draw your eye to the middle of the wheel. And I kind of want to definitely do a little bit more in that wheel area. And today, as you can see, I'm in a t-shirt. We have 60 degree weather here in Pennsylvania and it is in February. So definitely not your normal weather. So we're actually going to go down to the shop and we're going to try to get a couple more red accents put into this wheel package and see how it looks. <laughs> Before we can get the Rebel into the shop, well, we gotta move the mud mouse. So, let's see if we can make it up the muddy hill. Nothing like a Ford with no doors. Still a little issue with the IAC, which I have yet to address. No problem. And truth be told, this truck is afraid of absolutely nothing and it is a whole lot of fun to beat on. So as far as the experience went with getting the rear window replaced on the truck, it was actually pretty painless. I mean, going to the other dealership that I bought the truck at was just like pulling my nails out with a pair of pliers. This place was so easy at New Holland Chrysler. Guy came out, took a picture of it, and you know, confirmed everything. Well, there was a problem, there was a crack in the window, so on the window frame, and then they just sent that into Chrysler. Chrysler sent them out the new style rear window, and within four days, he's calling me and you know, making an appointment so we get this truck in, get it fixed. They lined up the glass guy. I dropped it off on Thursday night. I had it back by Friday afternoon. They gave me a 2020 Jeep Wrangler, and you know what? It was just a very, very easy experience. They actually have Enterprise rental car right in the dealership, so warranty pays for your rental car, and you're seamlessly out the door in a nice vehicle, not a piece of junk like I got from the last dealership. So I definitely will be going to New Holland Chrysler for all my Mopar needs in the future, and I have nothing but good things to say about their service department. 
But since we had to have the rear window replaced, all of our decals that were on the rear window are now still on the old window, going back to Chrysler for warranty. So drop in the comments, should I get another American flag for the center or should we do something different back here? Let me know your thoughts. All right, so somebody had asked me how I changed my tire size by using the Z Automotive DT Taser. And the way I did that, you have to have the truck on run, but not running. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna push your left arrow, hold it down, and then you're gonna tap cancel, and you're gonna get to this menu as long as you're in the audio screen in your infotainment system. And then you can go through the menu by holding down the left and then tapping cancel, and it'll go through all the different menu items. And the one you're gonna wanna be in to change your tire size is the performance one. And then to go into that menu, you're gonna hold down the left arrow and you're gonna tap resume. And then you can see that I have my tire size set at 35.11. That was pretty much the best I could get for as far as using my phone to measure the speed of the vehicle and having the right speed showing on the speedometer. And then what you're gonna wanna do to select that, you're just gonna hold down your left again and then you're gonna tap resume and that's gonna lock it in so you have that tire size set and then you can use the left and cancel to go back to the main menu and go back and change anything else that you wanna do. I also did change my tire pressure monitoring system to 45 PSI instead of 55, because I wanna run these at a little bit of a lower pressure, just because I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of towing at the moment. So there's a whole lot of things you could do with the taser. That's just kind of the basics of navigating the menu. And for anybody who's wondering how I got the amber lights to be the daytime running lights for the truck, that you can do without the taser. You can do that right in your menu, go into lights, and you go to daytime running lights, and you turn them on or off, and when they're on, you'll get the amber. When they're off, you'll just get the halos around the outside of the light. So now I do have a couple different shades of red, and I just kinda wanna do some samples just to make sure that they're as close to the stars as possible. I do have some Dupla color, which is more of a red, like kind of a darker red, this is a caliper paint. And then I do have some engine enamel, which is a little bit on the lighter side. It's almost closer to an orange. So I'm gonna grab a piece of white paper and I'm just gonna spray both of these on there and just kind of see what the color actually looks like. Well, we got our samples over here on this piece of paper and I don't know how well it comes in on the camera, but this one here is pretty much like a hemi orange. It is definitely not a red at all. And this one here, you got more of a true red. So I'm gonna put this up to the star and just see how close we are. Well, now as you can see, our star color and this, definitely not the same. That is really orange compared to that. And this one over here is a little bit too far on the red side because I'm pretty sure that these aren't gonna match very well whatsoever. So now that we know that the red that we have will not work with what we're trying to do here on the rims, I'm gonna have to head to the store. I'm gonna grab actually the fifth star that it came with because they do give you one for your spare so I can match up the proper color and we'll see if we can find a match for these wheels. And on a day like today, why not take the Camaro? Oh yes, it's been way too long. This is the car that basically started the channel off. If you guys are new to the channel, this is the 2017 Camaro 2SS with the Vortex Supercharger and many, 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 many things added to it over the last couple of years. <laughs> and it is definitely a good time. Absolutely. And we're not done yet. I mean, the reason that I kind of slowed down on this car is because, well, we had the shop bill, which kind of took up a lot of money, and then I bought my RAM for my daily, and that kind of took off with the videos, so RAM became more of the focus, because just kind of the way the YouTube algorithm worked, the views were more in the RAM than they were in the Camaro, so I just kind of had to prioritize it in that way, but back in the day, this used to be the car that got most of the views because it was the newest thing. It was a 2017, I bought it in 2016. 50th anniversary, I guess, generation of the 6th gen, and absolutely awesome car. And I was gonna get a ZL1, but honestly, when I bought this car, I really didn't have the budget for that. And I was thinking, well, you know, $60,000, $65,000, or $44,000, that was what this was. And then I added the supercharger, and gained a bunch of sponsors like Vortec, and we made this car pretty fast. On a dyno jet, this thing puts down about 580 rear wheel horsepower, and there's definitely more to come with this one. We 
definitely need a cam, you definitely need a DSX pump. I already have an LT4 high side for it, and I need some LT4 injectors, and hopefully we can push more towards that 700 wheel mark. It's going to wait and see, but we do have more things that have happened, like the shop needs to be finished, and we've been doing a lot of stuff with the Ram, so I think things are going to have to wait on this car just a little bit, but drop in the comments. You guys want to see more Camaro content? Because, I mean, honestly, we've had a whole lot of fun with this car, and there's a whole lot more to come. <laughs> All right, so after looking at a bunch of different reds, we have our star right here, and we have our paint color right here. You can see they are very, very similar. And now that's all washed up, time for the dry cycle. So hopefully it's not too busy. We can do a short little pull underneath the overpass really here, what this car has to offer. <laughs> I always forget the rev limiter is set at like 6,000 right now just because of what we're running and the fact that I need a fuel system and yeah we kind of put it to its limit but you can definitely hear that blow up valve a little bit, gotta love it. Alright, so now that we got the right color paint, I think, I mean, you see our star is pretty much bang on. We're just going to open up this can and just go to town on the wheel. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to take actually the bolts out of where the spokes are. These ones are removable. On these wheels, you can actually remove the spokes and you can change the color of those. I think I like them in black. I just want to add a couple little more accents just to kind of draw your eye away from the center of the wheel because just having that red star, I do agree. It's just a little bit too much for the center. We're gonna have to kind of draw it outwards a little bit and give the wheel a little bit more dimension with a little bit of red paint. All right, so now here in our state-of-the-art painting facility, AKA the back of the F-150, got everything nicely degreased. We're gonna throw some Bulldog adhesion promoter on these things and then we're ready for some paint. So now you can see our red in the light and compared to our star, I think we're very, very close. So we'll let this dry overnight and then I'll hit it with a couple extra coats tomorrow and we're ready to reinstall them and see how they look on the truck. Well, everybody, it is the next day. All of our paint has nicely dried on our bolts. So let's get them installed on the truck and see how they look. All right, everybody, we have everything installed on the truck. All of our bolts are in place. Let's have a look and see how they look with the red stars. Here it is, everybody. The big reveal, oh yes. Now, I really do think that that draws your eye now to the outside of the wheel. It makes everything really nice and symmetrical, and I really think it makes these wheels pop. Definitely drop in the comments. Are you guys still hating the red stars, or are you thinking they're starting to make a little bit more sense? So there it is, everybody, our new accent on the truck, and I am absolutely loving the way this truck is turning out. And we kind of just went through the whole process on how that back window turned out. And I hope that helps some of you guys out there who have the old style window, you can get yours replaced. It's really not that painful. And if you have a good dealership, they definitely will take care of you. So as always, I do appreciate your time. Thank you for stopping over at Hammerdown Motorsports. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.